Hello. Hello. The pastor has asked us to uh, talk about what is uh, or about stewardship. And so first, I thought we should uh, kind of define that a little bit. And for in my understanding, uh, stewardship is the proper use of the resources that God has given us, such as our time, our gifts, talents, and of course our money. And since it's time for Commitment Sunday, uh, we need to talk a little bit about money. In uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 16 and in 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9, uh, Paul talks about, uh, the, uh, about the issue of giving and, and money. And from there, we can glean some guidelines as to how to uh, do this. And w so I'm going to go through some of those. Uh, one of them is to give regularly. You and mean like weekly or bi-weekly? Weekly, monthly. Uh, monthly, or bi-weekly, like you were saying. Yes. Even, okay. So uh, you were mentioning the other day consistent, to consistently give. So We have to do things consistently. Right. And also, Paul uh, says in these uh, sections of the New Testament, to give to meet a need, uh, and the church has needs. Uh, to give cheerfully, uh, because also Paul says to the Lord loves a cheerful, cheerful giver. Uh, to uh, also give voluntarily, that is not a compulsion or not forced by guilt or anything. Uh, to give according to your abilities, uh, your means, your financial situation. Uh, giving uh, gener generously, but without causing yourself hardship. Uh, for example, you don't want to go into debt so that you can give. Uh, that's not what Paul was suggesting. And to give sacrificially. But what he means is to perhaps sacrificially in the sense of uh, depriving yourself of something. Like, like we don't go out for dinner all the time. Right. And uh, not in the sense of causing a, a hardship in your uh, finances uh, for doing this. Um and also uh, give to be a blessing uh, out of love and thanksgiving for what God has done for you and your family and, uh, and the church. Give to be blessed with more, but not so that you can spend it on pleasures and things, but rather uh, give to be blessed uh, with more, more so that you can give more uh, in, in what the church needs. And uh, also, uh, we got this in the mail, and this is the uh, the commitment card, and I love this thing, believe it or not. You love it? Why do you like that so much? <laughs> Why are you so excited about this? Well, uh, you know, this thing actually makes it uh, easy to know how much to give regularly, uh, and no guessing every week, every weekend, you know, how much to give. Uh, so, so during this time, uh, Deborah and I, uh, get together and decide how much money we can give a week and then we multiply that by 52 weeks and that's what we uh, pledge that we're going to give. And in our experience, we have our own budget and like everybody does and if we don't do it the way we need to do this, hmm. we'll run out of money and then we feel really sad and I don't know why yeah. I feel sad. I mean... Well, there won't be any money left over if we don't plan it. Uh, in other words, by the end of the month, it's, all the money is going to be gone if we didn't plan this uh, ahead of time. And then it'll feel grievous to or egregious to give. <laughs> there you go. Uh, because now it's going to feel like we need to give out a compulsion. And that's precisely what Paul said not to do. Uh, so when, uh, when you commit... Uh, you are meeting a need. Uh, so just as uh, we as a family need to have a, a budget, a plan, the church administrators need to plan a budget. And as you know, a budget includes many things, <clears throat> excuse me, like water, the bills for the water, and uh, like electricity, the mortgage, uh, insurance, salaries, ministry, supplies, missions, maintenance, uh, you name it. All kinds of things go into this uh, budget. Uh, 
And unexpected repairs are always fun. Oh yeah, so not only is there a need for these monies, uh, but there is also a need to plan uh, ahead for these things. And the commitment card, this thingy, uh, greatly helps with that. Uh, it helps uh, me and it helps the church. So this is why I love this card, because it really uh, helped me figure out how much uh, I can give, and the church knows how much money they can count on uh, to do it. It is a great tool so that we can be faithful stewards of the money that God has entrusted us uh, with. And so with that, uh, uh, with this commitment, we want to... Uh, I encourage you to uh, uh, use it, participate in it, and be blessed by it. So God bless you all. Anything else? Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.